In the vast cosmic theater, black holes have long been cast as destroyers, dark engines of gravitational doom from which nothing escapes. But what if they could be used for good? Specifically, could black holes serve as the ultimate power plants for advanced civilizations? At the frontier of this tantalizing question lies the concept of Hawking radiation, a theoretical emission predicted by Stephen Hawking in the 1970s. According to quantum mechanics, black holes aren't entirely black. Tiny particle-antiparticle pairs flicker into existence near the event horizon. Sometimes one falls in while the other escapes, effectively stealing a minuscule amount of mass from the black hole. Over cosmic timescales, this leads to energy loss. If harnessed, this radiation could theoretically be collected and converted, offering a steady stream of pure energy from even a dying black hole. But the catch? The radiation is incredibly faint, especially for large black holes, making it nearly impossible to gather with today's technology. Then there's the Penrose process, a brilliant idea that uses the rotational energy of a spinning black hole. If an object enters the ergosphere, the distorted space-time around a rotating black hole, it can split in two, with one piece falling in and the other escaping with more energy than the original. This mechanism could, in theory, allow us to extract usable power. It's as though the black hole spins like a cosmic dynamo, offering its rotational energy to those clever enough to take it. To scale these ideas into something civilization-sized, physicists dream up megastructures like Dyson spheres, not just around stars, but built around black holes themselves. Such constructs could capture emitted Hawking radiation or even beam extracted energy across interstellar distances. These theoretical machines stretch the limits of imagination and engineering. Yet the challenges are staggering. The gravity, radiation, and tidal forces near a black hole would tear ordinary matter apart. Precision, shielding, and materials beyond anything we know would be required. We're talking about technology not just centuries, but perhaps millennia ahead. Still, the idea remains. If we could tame the most violent forces of the universe, Black holes, once feared as cosmic devourers, might instead become engines of light, 